Hello and welcome to this episode of Hampton Roads Business Live. My name is Rory Graham and I'm your host and today we have the pleasure of having with us Otis Hooper from the Peninsula Boxing Academy. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, it's been a real pleasure talking to you. I've had two occasions, once on the phone and once before the interview, of sitting down and really having a conversation about you. And uh, I tell you what, after that conversation, I had a whole different different feeling about boxing in general and certainly about your program. Uh, why don't you start off by giving us an overview of what is Peninsula uh, Boxing Academy. The Peninsula Boxing Academy was incorporated in uh, 2005 and the reason for incorporating Peninsula Boxing was to give the youth, juveniles, an opportunity to use their frustration, redirect their frustration into a constructive educational motivating program and at the same time they would become community leaders and this is what the boxing program was designed for for developing juvenile uh, a program that they could be constructively in okay and now uh, let's okay so we're gonna get into that more some more here in a minute Let, let's start with uh, what your background is and how you got involved in this okay I'm a six degree black belt in Taekwondo. That's Korean karate. And that's uh, how come I haven't ticked you off. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, back in the early days, 1972, 73, I was fortunate enough to have a chance to work with Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris. Wow. And uh, this was the beginning of what we call today kickboxing. But mm -hmm. well, back in those days, it was called full contact. And I was ranked number one in the world, in, my, in the karate world, as a competitor. Well, now, I wanted to learn to use my hands better because Bruce Lee had come influenced my instructor, June Ray, to use your hands more. Taekwondo is 70% kicking. So, June Ray decided we start to learn to use our hands better. I'm living in Washington, D.C. In Maryland was Sugar Ray Leonard's gym. And of course, Sugar Ray Leonard had just won the golden glove, uh, the gold medal at the uh, Olympics. Mm -hmm. So, I decided I would go to his gym, learn to use my hands better as a boxer would. My kicking was superb. I was approximately 30 years old. Dave Jacobs, Sugar Lena's coach, did not want me there. <laughs> so he <laughs> said, over the hill. I was over the hill, was too old. He had younger boxers to work with. But he couldn't stop me from coming. If I wanted to come, fine, I may come, but I'd be basically on my own. So for five months, I came to the gym to learn to use my hands. Every Tuesday and Thursday, I would go to learn to use my hands as a boxer would. And after approximately five months, then he started to train me. I started to compete as a boxer and, uh, and a professional. I had a winning record when I retired from the boxing world. But that was, again, I started very late. I was, in my, I was just right. turned 30 years old. That is how my boxing career started. Uh, then I moved to I'm a Howard University, school trained architect. And uh, I moved to Virginia, 19, back to Virginia. I was raised and uh, born in Baltimore, Maryland. Early age, my family came to Hampton, Virginia. Mm -hmm. That's where I went my formative school. Then I went off to college, Howard University in Washington, D.C. For about 14 years, I practiced architectural. This was the same time I'm learning to box. And I come back to Washington, to Virginia, worked at the shipyard as a nuclear engineer in the design department. In 86, I decided to leave the shipyard and start my own business. And I was teaching Taekwondo. And then later on, I started teaching the boxing classes. Well, let me ask you, um, when we've talked originally, when you asked me a question, you said, you said, what is boxing? <laughs> and I gave you my answer, which was <laughs> probably what most people think. And then you, you proceeded to tell me what boxing was, uh, which I found um, to be uh, very uh, uh, instrumental in your teaching of it and why it's so popular because you have a very successful boxing academy over there. So, what, the answer so is what is boxing? Boxing is two people in a ring with gloves on their fists attempting to hit each other while not getting hit. Now the key word is not getting hit. Our school motto is don't get hit. Again that's what one of the uh, understand what boxing is. The other side is, boxing is physics. Now what is physics? Physics is math. 
that explains energy and motion. Mm. Well, boxing uses energy to get the motion. Therefore, boxing is physics. Mm -hmm. So when I'm teaching my students boxing, I'm teaching them physics. I talk to them about Sir Isaac Newton and his laws, first, second, third laws, and how boxing applies to these laws. The same thing with aviation. Everybody knows aviation. In order for a plane to fly, he has to deal with these laws of aviation, which is the same as physics. So when I teach boxing, I'm actually introducing them to aviation. So boxing, and like I say, our motto is don't get hit. So I teach them how not to get hit, applying the laws of physics. Okay, that's a good answer. All right, and so what is the purpose um, and the mission of the academy? The purpose of the, and the mission of the, of the academy, again, as I said earlier, and that is for the, for the youth to have a program where they would actually redirect their frustration, build up their confidence, self-esteem, and within the program to do this, I require them to bring me their report card. And they must maintain their grade point average or improve their grade point average while in the program. So every marking period they bring me their report card. And if they need help in a subject, I will get someone from the co local colleges, Hampton University, Christopher Newport University, to tutor that student to increase his, get his grade points up. That is what our boxing program is all about. I bet the parents love that. The parents love it because <laughs> they realize that boxing is not really a career. When you pass the age of 35, your boxing career is over. Big money making days are over. But when you are 35 and you have that college degree, now after 10 years of Working in that field, you're 35 years old, the big corporations now want you. Now comes your big payday. Mm -hmm. So that's why I emphasize education within my boxing program. Okay. Well, that's, that, like I said, I, I'm sure the parents love that. Um, so so um, what is the tuition and um, what do they get for the tuition? When a person first calls, first thing they want to know is how much does it cost for a boxing program? And of course, I need to know, is it for themselves or for someone else? Have they had any training in boxing? And of course, they will answer me. And I explained to them the first thing they must do, since they have not had any training, is go through what we call the Introductory Orientation Program. And that's a $50 fee. And for that $50 fee, they would receive <coughs> their boxing hand wraps, their boxer's jump rope, their boxing booklet, and they will receive three classes, approximately 55 minutes each. Class one is on the offense. Class two is on the defense. And class three is on hitting the different bags, the heavy bag, speed bag, doubling ball bag, rapid punch bag, focus pad. They'll spend two to three minutes at each one of these stations understanding about developing speed and power in their punches. Once they completed these three classes, they now know if they want to continue in the boxing program. If they want to continue to the boxing program, they may sign up for one of the sessions. We have a winter session, spring, summer, and a fall session. Each session goes for approximately eight weeks. And that's $150 tuition for the session that they decide to sign up for. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the equipment, there's approximately $65, $70 for the equipment that they would need. Oh, that's real reasonable. Yeah. Okay. All right. And, and so, so that, that initial uh, $50 gets them to a lot of, uh, first of all, education in it, but it allows them to determine whether this is something they're really interested that in. That is exactly Before true. Before they get into it and find out they just blew the money on something they're not interested in. This is something that other boxing schools do not do. Right. And the person will get into it, sign up for a boxing program, and they find out this is not what they really want. Right. Well, I can so see that. This is the reason why, again, I teach my program through the city of Newport News, Parks, Recreation, and Tourists. And this is very successful for the parents to get a feel of the program. Now, speaking of the parents, you, you uh, and I think you, you kind of touched on this already, but, you know, parents see the Rocky movies and all that. And also, what do you tell them that they're getting ready to send their little boy <laughs> or girl into this, into this uh, <laughs> arena? <laughs> arena, <laughs> yeah. What I say to the parents is, now that your son, your daughter, has taken an interest in boxing, we'd like for you to know and understand, they're not going to be getting into a ring, punching each other in the face. This is a beginner program, a startup program. And this program is designed to build up their confidence, their self-esteem, develop discipline. And this will help them to redirect their frustration as most teens have. 
and, and get rid of some of the stress. Mm -hmm. So that's what I tell the parents. This is a beginner startup program, and they're not going to be getting in the ring, not until they've had at least four to six months of training, they're qualified, and want to do so. And, and I'm sure your program has rules and regulations. We do have rules and regulations. I'll give you one example. The student wants to compete, or he wants to get in the ring, he wants to sp spar with someone. He must have completed all the beginner, intermediate lessons, defense and offense. He must have signed up with the U.S. United States Amateur Boxing Association. That's a required because insurance kicks in. And he must take a written exam. Mm. I am the only school that, that I'm the only school that required him to take a written exam. And this is a five-page exam that they have to take. They have to answer these questions, understand nutrition, vitamins, proteins, how the muscles, how it affects the muscles. They have to understand the history of boxing. This is what my, so now, if they can answer these questions, and they have these rules, and the rules that you are not allowed to train anyone, or show anyone any of these techniques. You're not allowed to compete for any other school unless you get permission from uh, our school, from the Peninsula Boxing. Your uh, respect, you're required to show respect to your mother, to your father, to your parents, your teachers, and to any adults. You're, Again, we have what we call the abusive words. You're not allowed to use abusive words or four-letter words. Now, everybody smile. What is the four-letter words? I can't quit. It's too hard. Not allowed to use those four-letter words. Abusive language, we all know what that is. And then, of course, noise, too much talking. We ask them to taper it down. Then not to show anyone any of these outside of the boxing arena any of these techniques. These are some of the rules that we ask. Right. Okay. And now you, you mentioned aviation before and the boxing and aviation kind of. <laughs> Most, I will tell you, you can talk to any boxing coach and he will not know that aviation and boxing fits like a glove, hand in a glove. All the principles that you, refi you find in boxing is also in aviation. All the formulas, equations, and aviation is in boxing. If you want to do an uppercut with the fist, you want the airplane to go up, you use the elevators. You want the airplane to turn left or right, that's called that hook. You use the rudder. You want the airplane bank left and right, there's so many similarities yeah. in the aviation world and in the boxing world. You have the three axes in aviation, the same three axes in boxing. You have the five negative and positive principles in boxing, you have the same five in aviation. Mm -hmm. So when I'm teaching my students boxing, I'm introducing them to aviation. And I let them know that because this could be a real career and this is the reason why they want to get those grades up. Okay. And so um, you, uh, you have a, a message for future students that might be watching this? For the future students. Yes, I do. And that is boxing is an excellent program to get into to, like I say, relieve frustration, redirect your anger if you have anger management of problems, and, uh, but keep in mind that education is number one. And without the education, you're not gonna be able to read your contract and understand your boxer's contract. You think you're gonna get $1 million, but because you weren't doing your English and getting your English down well, your contract, you're gonna find out when you get that check, it's only 130,000. You wanna understand about your math, get your math down. Because when you get that contract, you're not understanding percentages that the, you have to pay your trainer, your manager, your cut man, and your spine partners. They get a percentage. Of, if you don't understand your math, then you're going to find out that your check is going to be a lot less than what you thought it would be. So education. And of course, whatever field you want to go into after field, your boxing exactly. career. Exactly. So. so I leave a word to you. Boxing's great. Get that education. Come on in. Sign up, and I will help you. That sounds like something every parent would like to have be involved in with their children. Uh, is there anything that I've left off that you wanted to mention? Well, um, I'm trying to think there is anything I may want to say, and that is uh, at this moment. No. <laughs> I can't think of anything. Well, see, I did a good job.
<laughs> I think it's excellent. Okay. I hope I've answered all of your questions. I think you have. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, I was really impressed with our conversations, and uh, I think you'll be impressed, too, if you uh, uh, give Mr. Hooper a call, uh, and he's available to talk to you. Uh, he'll give you a call back if he's in, in a boxing session. <laughs> but uh, you can contact him at the Peninsula Boxing Academy. The uh, number uh, and contact information is at the end of this video, and it's also at the bottom of this page. Um, and uh, so if you uh, have a child that you would like to get started in, in uh, the sport of boxing or might just might be considering that, uh, give, uh, give Mr. Hooper a call. I think you'll be surprised. Uh, I wish you a great deal of success and, uh, uh, in the future, and I thank you for coming in. Thank you right, for inviting you. me. All right.